Perry of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Mr. Randall? Yeah? It's Hadley, Mr. Randall. Oh, come in, Hadley. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Any news? Uh, things are pretty quiet, just like they have been for the last few days. No more counterfeit being passed, huh? No, not one bill for the last three days. They're laying low. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I'd say that that would indicate we're closing in on them. You really think so, huh? We're so close to capture, they don't feel it's safe to operate. Well, I hope you're right, Hadley. I think I am. And I have a feeling I'll make my catch within the next 24 hours. Oh, uh, I haven't talked with you since you checked on the strongman, Belko. Did you get anything on him? No. You were right. He's quite harmless. I checked his every move for the past nine years, only to find that he's been going around the country with small shows and carnivals. Uh, he didn't strike me as being dishonest. No. I think Belko hasn't had anything to do with this. Uh, what about Spike? Anything more on him? Well, there is and there isn't. Uh, what do you mean? Well, he's still spending his spare time in libraries, reading up on animals. But I found something that doesn't look so good. What's that? When he left the library yesterday, I checked on the books he was reading, as I usually do. And I found a book on the table he was using among the animal books. Yeah? Now, it might have been just a coincidence, but uh, it was a book on lithography. What? Yeah. Quite a complete book on lithography and engraving. There was a chapter in it on printing of money and stamps. Mm. I can't say for certain that he was reading it. But it was among the other books he was looking through. You've almost got me thinking the way you do about Spike. You know, Hadley, you detectives are very much all alike. Once a man has been in jail, you do everything you can to get something on him and send him back. Oh, not at all, Mr. Randall. The only reason we have for watching an ex-criminal is the fact that so many times they go right back to breaking the law when they're released from prison. If an ex-convict shows up at the scene of a crime, he's a good suspect. At least worthwhile following. Yeah, but Spike never was a lawbreaker. Oh, I know, Mr. Randall. We've gone into that before. But the fact that his cellmate in prison was doing time for counterfeiting makes it important that I find out all I can about Spike before I check him off the list of suspects. Well, have you uh, tried to check on this cellmate of his, that fellow, uh, uh, Slippery Tonetti? Yeah. We're not getting very far. It seems that he's been on the move ever since he got out of jail, but he's not in this part of the country. At least we feel fairly certain he's not. Uh, you know, Hadley, I, I think it might be a good idea to try to find the source of the counterfeit money. If someone with the circus is passing the bad money, I, I don't think they'd be making it, too. There isn't one person with my outfit that would have enough time on their hands to make it. No, that's true. It's a big job. It takes time. In many cases, a fairly big plant. Bigger than could be carried around without someone noticing. Yeah. But it's a tough job trying to find the source. I figure if I can catch the one who's passing the bills, I'll find the source at the same time. Yeah, well, you're the detective. I guess you know best what to do. Well, what do you say we step outdoors and get some of that sunshine? Can't let a nice morning like this go to waste. That's all right with me. However, I don't think it's a good idea to have folks seeing us talking together so much. Oh, that's all right, Hadley. I, I always talk with new people when they first join out with the show. If you didn't talk with me, the folks would surely think something was wrong. Well, then that's all right. Sure it is. Say, this is a nice morning, isn't it? Yeah, about perfect, I'd call it. Yeah, I look for a full house both shows today. This is good circus weather, all right. Hello, Mr. Randall. Well, Slads, good morning. Good morning, Adley. Yeah, it's a fine morning, if I do say so. Hello, Slads. What on earth have you got there in that cage? 
<laughs> of all things, a parrot. Yes, sir. Finally got myself a mascot. Always wanted one of these broadcasting birds. <laughs> Where'd you get him, Slats? Bought him. Bought him with my hard-earned pay. But I figure he's worth it. Not any more expensive than the phonograph and just as much pleasure. <laughs> What's his name? Well, I'm going to call him Sleepy. Yes, sir. Sleepy's going to be his name. Well, why Sleepy? Well, he gives me that impression. Notice the way he blinks his eyes all the time? <laughs> Looks to me like he's awful tired. What's that you say, Sleepy? Did he say something? Well, I don't know, but I guess he tried to. Well, he does talk, doesn't he? Talk? Well, I should hope so. If he doesn't, I've been robbed. <laughs> the man in the pet shop where I got him said he was a good talker. <laughs> get him to say something. What's that? Oh, uh, get him to say something. Yes, yes. Well, let me see now how to go about this. Uh, all right. Come on, Sleepy. Say something. Well, if he's saying something, it's not English. Oh, you better do better than that. Now, come on now. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, you won't talk, eh? Huh? <laughs> well, uh... Polly want a cracker? <laughs> Polly want a cracker. <laughs> well, he's showing possibilities. If he's that good to start with, I'll have him reciting Shakespeare before the season's over. <laughs> well, yeah, it looks like you're going to have trouble with Sleepy. Well, I'll not take any back talk from a parrot who can bet your life on that. Now, what's the idea, Sleepy? Say you're sorry. <laughs> he thinks you're funny, Slats. Now, see here, Sleepy. I don't need you for an audience. I can get my laughs without having a parrot giggling at me. Now, say I'm sorry. Come on, say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. Of all the dumb birds in the world, you're the worst. <laughs> Looks like you've got more than your bargain for, Slats. Well, the man I bought him from said he was an unusually smart bird. Said he'd repeat anything you heard a couple of times. But that's just a lot of applesauce. Applesauce is all it is. Yes, sir, applesauce. Applesauce! Did you hear that? <laughs> he said it. He said applesauce. <laughs> he did, he did. <laughs> well, now you got the system, Slats. Now, it looks like it, don't it? Well, I guess I didn't make such a bad buy after all. Well, uh, try something else, Slats. Okay, now, come on, Sleepy. To be or not to be? <laughs> to be or not to be? <laughs> what? what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like applesauce to me. <laughs> well, Slats, I guess he's got a right to his own opinion. Sure. <laughs> say, you wait, Mr. Randall, till we get a good and acquainted. I'm here to predict great things from this bird. Well, look who's coming. Well, Rags, old boy. Well, where's your master? There's Jerry coming now. Oh, well, he's with Spike. I guess they've been uptown together. Now you get away, Rags. Don't bother this bird. Go on and stop that market. <laughs> Looks like he wants to get at Sleepy. <laughs> well, right back at you, Rags. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Parrot barks right back. Hey, what's going on? Well, either your dog is making a monkey my parrot, or my parrot's making a monkey your dog. I can't tell which. Here, Rags, now get away from that cage. Here, Rags. Rags. Hey, Rags. Hey, Rags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on in, Spike. This is a big laugh. What's going on? Well, my parrot's sleepy. What's that? Your parrot's sleepy? <laughs> oh, that's his name. I said my parrot's sleepy is teasing Rags. Go on now, Rags. Run along. Go on over to our wagon. That's it. <laughs> well, he's going, but he'd rather stay around here. Yeah, I guess he can't figure out how a bird can bark. Hey, Rags! Hey, Rags! Hey, Rags! <laughs> Look at that. Rags thinks it's Jerry calling him. It sounds like Jerry's call. <laughs> well, I better get out of here with this bird before I get in trouble. Now, go on back, Rags. I, I didn't call you. The <laughs> dog's all mixed up. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Now. Goodbye, Bye, Bye, Slash. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a team. Well, Jerry, where have you been? Oh, Spike and I went up to the business district together. Yeah. Oh. Jerry and I did a little shopping. Yeah, I see you got some new duds, Spike. Yeah. Like them? Yeah, well, that's a nice-looking jacket. Your cap, too. That's new, isn't it? Yeah. Jerry picked it out for me. He's got new shoes, too. See him? Well, looks like you got yourself decked out, Spike. Well, I've been needing these things, Mr. Randall. Thought I'd better get them while the getting's good. I sure like that cap. I'd like to get one like it myself. Um, what store did you get it at? Let's see, uh, uh, what store was that, Jerry? I got all the things in one place, but I can't remember the name of the store. Wasn't it, uh, Abbott's Men Shop? Yeah, yeah, that's the place. Uh, right near the corner of 2nd and Main. Abbott's, huh? Well, I'll have to go up there and get some things for myself. <laughs> they got a nice selection, all right. Yeah. And you all through with your work, Jerry? Sure, I was all through before I went uptown to Spike. Well, I was just thinking, Spike... 
You must be doing all right to have money enough to get all those things in the middle of the week. Well, I made a little extra money this week. Oh, I see. If I hadn't, I never would have been able to get all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got some things to do. Me I... too. Bumps will be wondering where I am. Come on, Ranger. Uh, come on, Spike. Yeah, I'll walk over to the wagon with you, Jerry. Okay, you might as well. Then you can show Bumps your new clothes. Yeah, I'll see you later, Jerry. Goodbye, Spike. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Hadley. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say, uh... Where's the nearest phone, Mr. Randall? Well, there's a phone hooked up in the ticket wagon. Now, let's get to it. Well, all right. Right over here. Uh, who are you going to call? I'm going to call Abbott's Men's Shop. Find out what kind of money Spike used to buy those clothes. Oh, well, this way. Here we are. Huh. Oh, Jim's not here. Let's see if I have my keys with me. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Now, step in, Hadley. There's a phone on the desk there. Hey, you wouldn't have a phone book by any chance, would you? Hmm, yeah, yeah, there should be one. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, yes, here. Here you are. Thanks. Yeah, it's the A, 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 B, A, B, B, A, B, B, O, A, B, B. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Abbott's Men's Shop, 415 Second Street, Central, 4976. Um, Central, 4976. That's right. What do you bet we get something here? Well, I don't know, Handley. You know a lot Hello? of... Hello? Hello, Abbott's Men's Shop? Well, this is Secret Investigator Hadley of the state's attorney's office. There was a man in your place in the past hour. Bought a jacket, a cap, a pair of shoes. He had a boy with him. Yeah. Well, do you recall what kind of a bill he used to buy those things? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was. Ten dollar bill? Yeah. Now, listen... Get that bill and read me the serial number. I'll hold the phone. Say, I knew I wasn't far wrong on Spike. Well, we'll know for sure in just a minute now. Of course, you know it's possible that he got Hello. That... Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. Now, hang on to that bill. We'll be right over there and pick it up. It's counterfeit. You're sure it's one of the counterfeits? Sure thing you know. He has one of those funny numbers on it. Well... As I was going to say, don't you think it's possible that uh, Spike got that bill and changed somehow? Possible, yes, but not probable, Mr. Randall. I think I've got our man. Just a little more work on this case now, and it'll be closed. Uh, I'll go up to that store now and get the bill, and I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll be in my office waiting for you. Good. I'll have to enlist your help to do just a little more investigating. Then I'll pick up Spike, and we'll have this whole thing solved. <laughs> Thank you. 